All right, today we're going to do three Series 1 hangers against three Heritage hangers. Let's see which one's better. I think Series 1 has got the edge right off the get-go because you get two automatic parallels in the uh, in Series 1 hangers. Um, but I think the real one autos hold a lot more value, so if you can get lucky and pull one of them, I think hangers have a chance there. Let's get started. We're going to start with Series 1. Just because I think the upside on the Heritage is better. You know, the, the, the ceiling is better on Heritage. But the floor is better on Series 1. One, so let's just fly through this base. Henry Davis I'll take out. Fly through this really quickly. Just stopping to pull out the big rookies if we see them. All right, Patrick Bailey Blue. Tatis, Rainbow, Freeman and Lowe on the yellows, Rafaela on the 89, those were all pretty good, Grand Gamers, Derek Jeter, that's a PC card, set that to the side, alright, my opinion, that's a big start, big start for Series 1. Definitely some decent parallels and some decent rookies there. Let's see if Heritage can match. With any luck on my part, it can. All right, flying through the base. And it doesn't look like we're gonna get really anything. Nothing. Nothing worth talking about in that first hanger. So now, Heritage really does need to be saved by, uh, by an auto or something, because that was just atrocious for the first hanger box. Is that a red or something in there? Looks like we definitely got something special out of here. Well, that might be a team border parallel now that I think about it with the way it looked. Corbin Carroll on the yellow foil. That's nice. Now that I see it, it's just uh, greatest hits, I think. That stinks. You got the Reds team card in yellow. Strider in yellow. This counts as an Ellie, right? Just throw it all on there. Zoom through these. All right. Nothing too crazy in that second one. The Reds team card in yellow is nice. It fetches a couple bucks since Ellie is on it. All 
And since the Reds aren't my team, I do hope to sell it. Unless it was an auto, then I would have kept it. Alright, fly through these again. Making sure we don't miss any of the weird parallels they got. I'm not seeing anything. The uh, hangers are taking a beating. There has literally been nothing worth talking about out of them. I am 100% convinced Heritage should really only be considered a a set builder's product. You know, you, 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 should buy, you should buy singles. If you're looking for Heritage stuff, you should buy singles because you're going to get beat up buying boxes because I have been beat up buying these boxes. I've pulled one nice card, but I have definitely had to buy singles to get good cards out of Heritage this year. Heritage has hurt me. All right, a gold Joe Adele out of 2024, of course. Then we got a 50. A Nathaniel Lowe out of 50. It is the yellow foil, yellow sparkle, cracked ice. I don't know what this is called. A rookie yellow, Matt Canning yellow, Sal Fralick, 89. J-Dom insert. Henry Davis, stars of MLB. I guess the, uh, the out of 50 card, I probably shouldn't stack under all these other cards. It's, it's actually a pretty nice hit. And gets to be center stage there. All right, Heritage. I say, uh, series one wins by a landslide, by a landslide. Unless I pull an auto. Unless I pull an auto, Series 1 wins by a landslide. And, I mean, really, a red auto is what I need to pull. Like, a blue auto of just some obscure player probably wouldn't even do it for me. You know, unless it's Ellie. You, you give me Ellie or a Yankee, then I'll be happy. But uh, I don't see it happen. There probably there may be some short prints or something in here that I'm missing. But this is this is killer. Definitely a set builder's product because there's nothing. So that is. A thousand times a win for series one thank you guys for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one